Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Wizards of Look. I got Raymond Lyons tonight. I'm Wilson Tarpe Jr. And again, we're going to talk about uh, the latest with the Washington Wizards. I mean, you're not supposed to. Why are you already going to start laughing already? That early? Um, they fell. They fell to the Miami 128, 124. Uh, that's that. There was quite a arguably, arguably, the three best players were not available this evening. Um, Russ was out with the quad injury. Um, he also hasn't really played back to backs, I believe, like in the last two years. So um, I don't know how serious the injury is, but I wasn't shocked at him sitting off because it was just a back. I figured he wasn't going to play. Literally, just off the nature of it being back to back. Um, and then Brad, uh, you know, with the how the NBA is dealing with COVID and contract tracing and any, you know, uh, any type of thing, you know, they found out last minute with Brad um, and he was not available to them. Then the game starts and they lose Thomas Bryant early. Um, we just know it's a knee injury. We don't know how severe it is. Uh, so a lot of things happen. That said, they fall 128-124 to the Miami Heat. Uh, Ray, we'll start with you. Just your initial thoughts on that one. Um, you know, first and foremost, just hope, you know, uh, TB's uh, injury isn't isn't that serious, and he's able to um, you know to get back as soon as possible. Um, you know it, it sucks. He's been playing really well. Uh, he's you know he's been a big part of um, you know what they've been doing so far this season. So um, yeah, just you know wish the best of luck to him in regards to that. Um, you know as far as the game goes, this is this this is a rerun. <laughs> you know this this seems to be the mo. Get down big, fight back, and barely lose. Um, if they like it, I love it, man. I don't, I don't know what more to say, but uh, you know, it, I'm I'm utterly confused at this point because you get the same exact result with, like you said, their three best players out. So I I don't know, man. Like, how can you? It's it's mind boggling. <laughs> like I don't I don't get it. I, I what, did you, would you would you would you have uh, would you have felt better like if they got punched with that many people out? Um, like like how because you know what I'm saying. Like how does it make you feel knowing that you know when they're as close to healthy as possible? Like it still could have been a similar resort uh, result, except maybe throw on another twenty or thirty points with Brad. You know, possibly going nuts. In this one could have literally been the difference there. So. Right, yeah, I don't, I don't understand how you get the same output with, you know, when you're just so severely undermanned like this. But, you know, such is life. Um, and just a couple of positive notes. Um, you know, the games when uh, when Neto starts, you know, they they start faster. You know, they come out with a great peep wings, great pace, great pace, and great energy. Um, Garrison Matthews for the second straight game. You know, he provided a spark off the bench. Uh, Robin Lopez played well. Um, but you know, again, they, they got to play some defense at some point. Uh, you can't keep allowing teams to, <laughs> to bomb you from three like this. Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't have the answer. I apparently need to do that, but so, something's got to give. And then you, you add that to the fact that, you know, Bam's minutes were limited because of foul trouble and you mm -hmm. still couldn't find a way to, to put yourself in a better position. So I I just don't know, man. I don't I don't know what's going on with this team. Um, man, maybe they need one of those players only meetings that every struggling team has a year, and they get a spark. I don't know, but this is <laughs> it's, it's, it's just wild to see, you know. And it's it's actually comical at this point that um every single game plays out this way. Um, I'm I'm interested to see how many games in a row they can they can make happen like this, you know, because it's. I'm I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> all yeah, you can do is laugh at this point. Yeah, it just like you said, it does make sense. It, there's legit. There's a legit script. You know, we're what we're nine games in, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're two and seven, or two and eight now, right? Two and eight. So ten games in, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that. Check that. Uh, but yeah, I you know I wasn't. I figured they were gonna the battle on the glass was gonna be tough just because. Miami's a good rebounding team, period. Mm -hmm. Even when Bam does play a lot with them out, we got an example to see how it really is by committee down there because 
They went on the glass 67 to 48. You know, Bam, I think, I think Bam had yeah, Bam had 16. 15 or something like that. Yeah, 16. yeah, 16 of the 67. Tyler Hero had nine. Like again, as a group, they were boarding. I mean, that was on both ends. There was a couple of times again, like you said, some of this, you know, the some of the things that uh some parts of the script that play out the same way. The Washington get a stop and then some teams get five chances of possession because of offensive rebounds. Or, you know, just not being able to close, like fully close out the uh, defensive possession with a rebound. Um, yeah, and then with Miami, I want to know where the defense was in this one. Like Brad was, again, Washington was missing. Brad, Russ, TB. Mm-hmm. You gave up 124 points. I know we saw them lock in for the third quarter. That might have been the only quarter where – like Miami played Miami defense. They won oh, that quarter yeah. mm-hmm. in 15. Um, on the, and then they followed that performance up. Like Washington outscored Miami 38-25 in the fourth. And Miami was – they had a couple droughts during the quarter. Um, I know you brought up Gary Matthews, and I'm interested to see just what ends up happening in terms of him moving up the rotation or another team coming by and, and taking him. Um, right, yeah. you know, just, just asking for the services because when he's in there, I mean, there's there's legit effort in the defensive end. It's always a sense of urgency, and he doesn't seem to do too much on offensive end. Like it's within himself. Like I, I, I don't think over the last few years or any time I've seen him, they're like, "Oh man, you're doing too much." They really feel that right. way. Um, I like the game. You know, we got to see Danny and Rui without kind of like you know low key without the adults around. Um, mm-hmm. And they were fine. Um, I enjoyed that. But again, like we keep saying, I don't really care about it offensively. Um, I did like how the ball moved more without some of the, without you know uh, the the uh, their all star backcourt there. And that's something where when they return, like the ball needs to continue to move like that. I don't I don't care that they're there, but like it would only help every like all parties involved the ball right. continue to move like that. It doesn't make sense that it moves like that when. And the games, like you said, when Neto starts, it's a different, it's a whole different vibe from the beginning of the game. Um, the defensive side doesn't change anything, but um, again, just as far as the ball moving a little bit more, it feels like it, it doesn't feel as sticky um, mm-hmm. as other nights. Um, I don't know, it just feels like it, they have a little bit of a better rhythm. And I don't even want to take that the wrong way or go crazy. Again, just talking about, you know, there's there's a difference. We're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. And that's one of the things that is legitimately a difference um, some nights. And then want to give credit to Washington. They they took care of the ball. And that's the other thing. You're missing pretty much both of your high usage guys. You had six turnovers tonight. You want to talk about putting yourself in a position to not get blown out. You had six turnovers. On the other hand, Miami, it's not like they had 30 turnovers. They turned it over 16 times, but... Washington scored 24 points off those turnovers. Complete opposite of what happened to Washington last night against Boston, where Boston feasted off those turnovers. Right. They made a living. Um, that's one of the ways that Washington stayed around and I mean, stayed in this game because it wasn't defensively. They had a couple stretches where they played solid defense, but all right, so this is what Washington def- did defensively tonight. They gave him 47 in the first. 28 in the second and third quarters and 25 in the fourth. At some point, man. At some yeah. point. And it's not, and again, Duncan Robinson didn't go nuts. All right. Hero, right. Man, um, Jimmy had a good game. Drogic was doing whatever he wanted. I didn't understand with Drogic how after he hit the first couple of threes, like you've seen him for years, you he kept going underneath the screen and Again, that's that's kind of like where my issue with the – I know everyone's like, you know, getting the coach out here and everything else is like, yeah, I get that. Not a top 10 coach or anything of that nature, but it's just like the little thing where I don't think we should absolve the players totally from All this. Right. It just doesn't make sense. Again, like the little things, it, it just doesn't add up. Night after night, it just doesn't add up. Yeah, man, it's crazy. And like, and again, just like Boston did, Miami was kind of leaving the door open for them. Yeah. You know, they they had their dry spell and and Washington just matched it. 
like, like I don't, I don't yeah. get it. You know, it's, I think they cut it to like, because they cut it to like, the, was it three or five late, and they yeah. had the position to whittle it down just a little bit, more. and they they essentially threw the next two possessions away. And right. again, how you've been talking, you know, I, I know I hit you earlier. You're like, might as well replay what you said last night. Like, it's not that far off. Um, and I'm gonna keep <laughs> tweeting this until it stops. But they what? They waste so many empty possessions at the end of games. It's like you did all the work to get, like, to stay within striking range. You did enough work to close the gap and then quick shot. Bad read. Why? You know, it, it, I don't know. And it, the other the other you know, thing that's hanging over all of this is the opportunity TVs out for an extended period of time. Like, you would kind of throw this. You could. <laughs> the conversations in the following weeks get really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, and hopefully for him, it's not that serious. Not only from, you know, from um, from an availability standpoint, you know, just for him in general. But yeah, but yeah you're right, man. If if he's if he's out for a long stretch, then uh, I got to accelerate some clocks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much worse day. it can get, but it'll it, whatever the degree of <laughs> of uh, falling off, they can do. They're, they're going to do it because but they not, need him. They need him, man. But not only that, if he's out, say again, where the worst case scenario is, everyone would like him back. I very much hope that it is extremely minor, um, mm -hmm. because the Wizards already been going through it. But uh, they can't afford for him to be gone. Like I know Lopez had a solid game tonight, scoring in the paint, but that was it on the boards. Again, I told you the number on the boards. At sixty-seven, sixty-seven rebounds, dude. But I want to go see. Look now, I want to go find how many times Miami shot the ball tonight. <laughs> they shot ninety-three times. Mm, how many offensive rebounds they have? Uh, give me one second. Washington shot ninety-nine times. <laughs> These numbers always make it feel worse afterwards. You see how many right. offensive rebounds? Ten. So you're getting more attempts and taking care of the ball better, mm -hmm. and still finding a way to lose because you even to with the threes. As crazy as you know, Dragic and Hero went. Mm -hmm. Washington hit one less three. Miami was 16 for 43. Washington was 15 of 40. Washington got to the line two more times. Again, like you, you go through like your little checklist of what you want a team to do. Yeah, like they're I don't they're checking <laughs> off more boxes. Like it's it's like what what's the uh, what was the assist numbers? Um, you put me to work over here right now. Uh, <laughs> Washington had 25, 25 assists on forty four field goals, forty four made field goals. Um. Ah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Miami had 32 assists on 46 made field goals. Mm. But still, you had more possession. You had more shots than them. Yeah. You had I more don't shots know, man. You went to the line more, and you hit more free throws. You hit 21 free throws. They hit 20. Uh, you were 21 of 28. They were 20 of 26. Again, they turn the ball over 10 more times than me. Like again, if you're like just on some coach stuff, you just checking boxes like <laughs> I would feel better if we couldn't check any of the boxes and be like, all right, you just bad at everything. Right. Away. Like they they they're in position literally almost every night, but they gotta stop falling into these big holes because it's they're they're insurmountable given the this the, the the status of the, of the team as is like we, we just got to be real about that they're not they're not good enough to <laughs> to try to survive this way because obviously it's not working they're two and eight so and then like if they if they if they're a little more solid on defense early in the game they give themselves a little a wiggle room for when they do go through these dry spells because they're bound to happen you know as opposed to having to claw your way back and then the dry spell hits and allows the team to push the lead back up again. And then you don't have anything left in the tank to, 
to claw your way out of that hole. So, man, it's man, look, it, and it's tough again. They scored that many points. $85 million man tonight. Um, for seven. So it's not like he had a huge night with you know the other the other adults missing. Um, right. It's it's just increasingly frustrating. I think and and like you said with the starts, it doesn't make sense. They go to that better start when you know how old's at the one. Um, they got to figure that out too. Um, mm -hmm. One getting off to a better start and and two getting off to a better start would alleviate some of Brad carrying so much weight early to where he's he's done late. Like ideally, you can lean on others to, to get stuff done early. You can let you, you can let your big money guys close late. But mm -hmm. if they're if you're wasting all their bullets in the first half, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what you want them to do? Because it's good that like it's great that you have someone on your team that could get 60. That is great. I would much rather <laughs> it be something where I need my I need my guy. Go give me 10 or 15 in the fourth when I need it. If it needs to be 20, it needs to be 20 or whatever. Exactly. They got to figure that out, too. Um, one thing, I don't know if they're going to end up doing it, um, but what I did enjoy was uh, just uh, I want to see more Rui and Denny without the adults on the court. Because mm -hmm. I think that's something where you can do that when Russ and Brad aren't on there, where like Denny's a good enough playmaker with whoever the point guard is on the floor, whether it's Ish. Netto or whatever, and you keep some size on the floor. Right. But um, I think that's the other thing too. They're gonna have this rotation needs to be adjusted a little bit too. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm sure they'll take a look at that. You know, given as how um, you know, some lineups mesh mesh differently than others. But I mean, bottom line, they got to defend. You can't keep scoring yeah. seventy points and a half and and being down. Like that's <laughs> that's yeah, you ridiculous. Were missing, you were missing like like you're missing. What's Brad's average this year? It's the night without them playing. Thomas played one minute and 53 seconds. So you've been missing like at least 40 combined points tonight, 45 combined points from those three, right? Mm -hmm. It's not there, not available to you. And you had more than enough to score. Like we continue to say each and every night, we're going to end it because, again, I'm about to get to where you are. <laughs> I'm about to start looking up different ways to say defense in different languages or something. So I'm not saying it in English so many times, but I mean this this is this is what this is, man. Um, they gotta figure it out. And it was um, I wish I could find this this tweet. Somebody was really really good when somebody talking about uh, because you know all fan bases complain about their teams and what their coaches mm -hmm. are doing in rotations. It's forced these days. Everyone has a better idea than. What the people that are paid to do are doing because right, right. That, that's just I, I've come to accept it and it's fine. Um, also, check out Dre uh, Jamal Green's quote from like last night uh, post game. It's pretty good. His thoughts on oh, people yeah. and understanding awesome. the game and whatnot. It, it, it was fun, but um, it was somebody saying essentially like people talking about this who raised going through a shooting um, out in Golden State, and we know obviously missing Clay Thompson. I don't care what you put on the court. Not cool. It's one of the greatest shooters of all time. You take him off the court. Um, you know, they had two of the greatest shooters of all time. You take one away. We know what life looks like when when one of them's gone from the other and you just get to focus all your attention and stuff. Like you know, right, right. But essentially the quote was saying, like, I'd rather deal with having an all-time great shooter surrounded by a bunch of folks that could defend and just deal with the growing pains mm -hmm. of Someone going through going through a slump, like Kelly's going through it. You know, uh, Kerr's like, no, nah, I'm not taking him out the lineup because that's our best defensive lineup. We're not, we're not going to. I don't. Like, essentially, yes, you're going through it, but that's not the that's not in the floor. I care I care about most. Right. Um, and that's something where you know the first thing I saw that I was like, exactly, exactly, because yeah, there's gonna be nights where he hits a bunch of those shots. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be nights when he doesn't. And guess what? There's what 10, 12 other guys. And there's gonna be nights where the last game guy scores enough for the both of them. So it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but what you are gonna need is stops. They came back last night against the Clippers. Stops, stops, stops. So yeah, you're missing corner threes, you're missing your open looks. 
that's cool. You know what you can't replace? You bothering Kawhi, you bothering mm -hmm. uh, Paul George, you uh, taking up someone else's airspace, uh, you, you just being your generally annoying self with a defensive end, and that's the thing. Washington has to find, like, obviously they don't have the person who goes to ask, but someone here is going to want to have to care about that end of the floor greatly. It's going to take, because, again, offense hasn't been an issue here for, like, four years. All right. Maybe five. We can keep counting the other way, but it's one end of the floor. <laughs> you change the people. Doesn't matter. It's one end of the floor. Um, and that's the whole thing is, like, everyone's going straight. The coach, even if you switch the coach, I don't know what coach you're going to bring in here that's going to suddenly make people want to play defense. Like, that's a that, that's a personal thing. I, I I I don't understand it, but I guess we will see. Um, they get a day off. Then um, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and company are here. Um, yeah. Again, a bunch of teams that can score. But like uh, like Ray continues to say, it's the same story almost each and every night, folks. But y'all have a good one. <laughs> we'll see you guys. What is it? Monday night, I think they play? Yeah, Monday night. Yeah, yeah Monday. Monday. Tuesday night for the focus. Uh, you guys have a good one. Don't forget, get over to findersmag.com, mymomsports.com. And Ray, yours. What's up? Oh, um, yeah, go to uh at hoops underscore realist on IG and um lines and sports dot com as well. All right, see now I see I just need to hear it. So now lines and sports dot com. See it's easy. So find us mag dot com, I'm on sports dot com, lines and sports dot com. And we will see you very, very soon. Have a good night. Enjoy your day off from the Wizards. What is another wild card uh day full of football tomorrow? So you guys oh, yeah. go ahead and enjoy. <laughs> All of that. Uh, for some of you, I hope you're, you've enjoyed Wild Card uh, first day of Wild Card football. For the rest of you, I'm sorry, Seahawks fans. <laughs> ah, that's all I got for you. Ah, that's it. <laughs>